John Wick and Deadpool meet Brad Pitt on the train. That basically sums up Bullet Train. This action comedy movie is a lot of fun and I find myself in awe of the action scenes and chuckling at the jokes. It has that violent sense of humor that Deadpool has, which makes sense because David Leitch, who directed this movie, also directed Deadpool too. The over-the-top and perfectly choreographed action scenes are reminiscent of John Wick, which also makes sense because Leitch directed that movie as well. Leitch was actually a stunt double before becoming a writer-director. It's actually pretty badass that this guy does all of that. That stunt double background definitely shows up in this movie. I was surprised to see Brad Pitt take on a role like this, but maybe he did it as a favor for the director since he was Pitt's stunt double. Maybe a lot of the cast in this movie did it as a favor for Leitch. Or none. Maybe they actually liked the script and really wanted to be a part of the movie. What the fuck do I know? I'm just a scallywag moviegoer with a microphone. Bullet Train features an ensemble cast. Brad Pitt, Paperboy, Kick-Ass, Dogen from Lost, Channing Tatum, Zod, Ryan Reynolds, Sandra Bullock, Bad Bunny. Guys, Bad Bunny's cameo was awesome. I'm already a huge Bad Bunny fan, but when Benito showed up on screen, I was fangirling inside. Un verano sin ti? I mean, I mean, come on. You hago lo que me da la gana? I got that shit on repeat. And his cameo was pretty badass. Although it was short, his role was memorable and it was fun watching him kick some ass on the big screen. I can't wait to see him play a main character in the upcoming Marvel superhero movie he's gonna star in. This movie felt very whimsical, almost like an anime. The way the movie blends action with comedy and running gags is very reminiscent of an anime. There's even a brief scene where they make a Fiji water bottle, this inanimate object, kind of like a side character that helps take down the villain that feels like it would fit perfectly in a Japanese anime. Bullet Train is apparently based off of a Japanese novel called Maria Beetle by Kot Kotaro Isaka. I probably butchered that name right now. I haven't read the book and I'm not sure if that sense of humor and whimsicalness is in the novel, but it worked well in the movie. Apparently a spin-off manga series was created based off the novel, so maybe that anime style is present in the novel. I'm actually really interested in reading the novel. Maybe I'll make a video about it in the future. The ending to this movie was badass and had some surprising twists. I was caught off guard by the way the movie tied all the characters together, including the bad guys. Overall, the movie was funny and action-packed. It's a movie about revenge, but also about finding inner peace and zen, which is such a paradoxical theme. But I dug it, and that's all that mattered. This whole movie was paradoxical, really. I mean, a violent bloody movie with dark themes referencing Thomas the Tank Engine? That's fucking awesome, man. Free of insecurity, dancing to the melody, no lack of melatonin, I'm Keanu 47 around.